Hey everybody, happy Saturday baby. How you guys doing? What's crack a lacking? It's beautiful, sunny in South Florida, right here in Miami. It was actually hot all day, so I stayed in. I don't want to get out go outside and get burned. I have a sad article, man. I just read it and I said I gotta share this with you guys. Um, a 23-year-old mother, her name is Sasha, and her one-year-old son perished in New York, or New Jersey actually, perished while they were in the car and they were in the car um, and the, their, her husband, her, the dad, was shoveling snow so they can go, you know, drive away or, you know, I don't know if you guys who ever up north, you know, and you know what I'm talking about. When the car is covered in snow, you got to break the ice. If it's ice, you got to shovel it. And all that. So what happened was he told her to go in the car with their one-year-old son and they have a three-year-old daughter. So he told her, go in the car, uh, turn the car on so they could get heat, you know, feel comfortable. While he broke the ice, shoveled the snow so they could move about and go about their day. Well, what happened was, as he was doing that, he didn't, he didn't realize there was a piece of snow or ice stuck in the tailpipe of the exhaust. And after 20 minutes, after he, you know, shoveled and went back to check on them, they all were unconscious. What happened was, they, the, the mother, Sasha, 23, and the one-year-old son died of carbon monoxide poisoning. The, the three-year-old, she is in serious, um, serious condition. She, she was, she was hurt badly, so she's still working on. But the other two died, which is sad, because we don't. I don't know if they were going somewhere or they were coming back from, you know, a trip. They're going back home. We don't know. Me, if I see it was a blizzard, they said it was a blizzard, and my car is frozen, stuck. I'm staying home. I don't care if I have to go shopping, groceries. I'll walk because in New York, New Jersey. Things are like blocks away. They're not like in Florida where things you have to drive and you have to use a car to drive to get there. Things are much closer in New York and you can just walk to the nearest grocery store and pick up whatever you need to pick up and go home. It's sad because now the father, he is devastated. He said if he had only known, he didn't bother to check the tailpipe because you know, you're busy, you're trying to get do your job, get things rolling. It's really sad. I mean, now 20, a, 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 a father left with a three-year-old daughter. He doesn't know what's going to become of her. She's going to have brain damage or what. We don't know yet. I I will try to keep up with the story to let you guys know, if, um, so you can we, we can see if she's okay and what's what will happen, what's going to happen to them in the aftermath. So guys, I I know this was a sad story, but I had to tell you. It, it just hit my hit me because I'm a parent. I have two girls and a boy. If that happened to me, I will be devastated. I wouldn't know how to cope. I wouldn't want to live. Well, you know what I mean. I'm being dramatic, but I will be so devastated. Please leave comments in the comment section down below. Please like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and I love every last one of you. Have a wonderful Saturday, and if you guys are going to the club tonight or whatnot, enjoy it. Peace out.